1865, Chief William Anderson founded our city not knowing that in less than a hundred years his name would be associated with one of Indiana's most impressive religious movements, noted for bringing thousands of devout followers into the sanctuary known as the Wigwam. After a fire mishap, Anderson's new wigwam reopened with an impressive magnitude in 1961 as the second largest high school gym in the USA, and still remains so today. The history of the wigwam runs deep in Anderson, raising four great claims to the title of Indiana Mr. Basketball. These winners include Johnny Wilson, Roy Taylor, Troy Lewis, and Maurice Fuller. Not to mention our Women's American Basketball League, Dana Wilkerson. The Lewis family are no strangers to the wigwam, as all three of their boys brought both their family name and Anderson's wigwam into the newspaper headlines around the nation. For our family, uh, for the fans, uh, for us as players, there was no greater venue in the world, in my opinion, than playing in the wigwam. We have to begin to tell new stories about the rebirth of the wigwam. So when you have the D-League coming in, they're not just coming in to, uh, uh, to create a new history, but to tell a story of what the wigwam stood for, but more importantly today, to be the economic catalyst to revitalizing the west side of Anderson, to develop it again so it can be one of that great, great icons uh, that it once was, but even better better with having kids being a part of it, better with having uh, semi-pros being a part of it, better with having um, businesses be a part of it. As a business owner, I know that we look for the best return on our investment. And I believe that the Wigwam offers that uh, because you are going into an iconic building and you're providing a service to the community and you're providing entertainment to the community and in return providing commerce an opportunity for growth and development. With facilities like the Wigwam and groups like the WSE, it goes without saying that there's an economic impact on the city. We asked Tom Bannon, the executive director for Anderson Madison County Tourism Bureau, his thoughts on the subject. I think the important thing with saving a facility like the Wigwam is not just the history and the excitement of the past. Uh, certainly those are important things. Certainly there have been iconic moments there that many of us have participated in and, and we cherish those memories. But because of those events, because of those memories, the important thing is it has become a community identifier. And there's not a lot of community identifiers within every community. The wigwam is one for Anderson. When you think of the Anderson, Indiana community, you think of the wigwam. We saved the Paramount. We saved the Center for the Arts. Those are both community identifiers. The wigwam is along those lines as well. So I think if we're able to save it, if we're able to make it a viable project, that will be a great thing for the community. From a visitor's director standpoint, uh, my position with the Visitors Bureau, the thing that excites me most about the project when I first met the Wigwam Sports and Entertainment team was their plans to have camps, basketball camps, you know, AAU camps, big man camps, shooting camps, because those things lead to hotel stays. And that's what really can have an impact on our uh, tourism industry, our economic industry as a whole here in Madison County. As people come to those camps, they'll be staying in hotel rooms. As their families come with them, they'll be staying in hotel rooms. That's gonna impact restaurants, gas stations, stores. That has a lot of impact. So I'm most excited about that. I, I like the other aspects of their plan too, concerts and NBA exhibition games and maybe having a D-League franchise. Those will have an impact on the economy. But from a Visitors Bureau standpoint, the most important thing will be those camps and the hotel stays that will generate from them.
this was Craig Sager at Turner Sports. I played high school basketball in Batavia, Illinois, and walked on at Northwestern University. I've always had a great appreciation and passion for Indiana basketball. And when Terry Thibler, close friend for nearly 40 years, asked me to help save the wigwam, I jumped at the opportunity. As the founder of Jackson Jill's, a successful sports grill for nearly 26 years with partners Randy Whitman and Doc Rivers, I feel I have the expertise in sports management to make us all proud of what we can accomplish in Anderson.